Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Baller here. We are now on this January 31st, 2023 NBA game day. We only got five games for today. So let's kick things off by talking about uh, this game between Miami Heat and Cleveland Cavaliers. That will happen at around 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given is minus 4.5, and that's given towards the home team, Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, let's take a look at the standings and the rankings of both teams. Uh, well, both belong to the Eastern Conference. Starting off with Cleveland Cavaliers, they are at number 5 with a record of 31 wins and 21 losses, while right behind him is a uh, Miami Heat with a record of 28 and 23. All right, so this is going to be a tough one, man. A very good matchup. Okay, so Cleveland Cavaliers, they would have the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of fatigue, well, I guess both rested last night, right? Um, yeah, in terms of fatigue, both had uh, their rest last night, so we can skip that part. In terms of momentum, we got to give it uh, to Cleveland Cavaliers because the Cavs, um, they are coming off a win. While for Miami Heat, they are coming off a loss. But if you would actually want to check on the forms of both teams, um, Miami Heat is looking a bit more consistent, uh, winning 7 out of their last 10. But Cleveland Cavaliers still looking good, uh, winning 5 out of their last 10. Now let's take a look at the availability of the players and the health of both teams. Okay, Now for... The Cavs, uh, Windler is out, while Kevin Love uh, is listed as questionable. So, uh, two players um, listed down here, one out, one questionable for Cleveland. Well, for Miami Heat, um, let's start off with those confirmed out, Jovic, Duncan Robinson, and Yurtsevin. So, it's still the, uh, the, the same three who are listed out. And you have Gabe Vincent and Jimmy Butler joining them in the list, but these two are listed questionable. So, all right, for the, the Miami Heat, three are listed uh, out, two are listed questionable. So, in terms of health, we also got to give it to uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers' end. Woo! This is going to be tough. Uh, the first game of the day, uh, yet for me, this is the toughest. Uh, both teams, as you can see in the standings, they're almost, you know, um, they're, they're going at it. Number five versus number six. Um... Even the style of play, you know, you can you can all you can all, all also consider that they you know they play the same kind of basketball. Um, the Cleveland Cavaliers they are looking good um, with Donovan Mitchell back. Well, of course, I mean, um, without Donovan Mitchell, they are a totally different. Uh, they are a totally different uh, team. Uh, their offense is uh, entirely different, and uh, their options are less. Well, for Miami Heat. You know, um, with, without that loss that they just had the other night, uh, that was against Charlotte Hornets. They, you know, they have been hot. They, they have been looking good. Matter of fact, just like what I said earlier, they have won seven out of their last ten. So just imagine if they actually defeated um, Charlotte Hornets, and I believe they should have. Um, meaning they, they they would really be on a roll, winning eight out of their last ten. So Miami Heat has been playing well lately. Um, at one point, they were outside of the top 10, but right now, again, uh, they're almost, uh, they're going at it against the Cleveland. Hmm, this is really going to be tough, but I feel like Miami Heat would have um, the correct or the, uh, what you call this, uh, um, the, the good lineup to go against Cleveland Cavaliers. They got Adebayo manning, manning the middle. Um, I guess Jimmy Butler would still be playing. Uh, he is listed as questionable, but I feel like he would be there. And uh, Jimmy Butler would actually add some defense and some pressure towards Donovan Mitchell. It's not like Donovan Mitchell's game would really change, change, but it's just totally different when um, you have Jimmy Butler manning, you know, uh, manning your moves, you know, uh, following you wherever you go. It's just totally different. Uh, plus, Tyler Hero is um, uh, being hero, you know, uh, shooting, uh, shooting well. Um, I felt like a Tyler Hero uh, missed a um, significant number of shots against that Charlotte Hornets that may have cost them the game. Uh, I feel like they would have a bounce-back game against Cleveland Cavaliers. Not necessarily they would win, but I feel like uh, they would have enough to at least keep it close 
covering the spread of plus 4.5. I expect big games from but from both Butler and Hero right here. Well, Adebayo, not that much in the offense, but I expect them, and they really need him to really step up their defense if they would want to minimize the damage that Cleveland can do. My pick would be Miami Heat plus 4.5. Again, that's Heat plus 4.5. Peace out. Pasay love and God bless.